Hey everyone, how is it going? And welcome to my old school RuneScape Venonatus solo guide. Venonatus is a wilderness boss that is located in roughly level 30 wilderness, just north of the Western Green Dragons area. The required stats and equipment to kill Venonatus are 94 magic for vengeance, 80 plus in all your melee stats, and full Varax. The recommended stats in order to solo efficiently are 96 magic for spellbook swap. However, you don't actually need 96 for this, but if you have 96, it's going to save you on some supplies. And I'll show you how to get around having 96 in just a second. 90 plus in all your melee stats, and 70 plus prayer for piety. Notable drops from Venonatus are the Treasonous Ring, Dragon Pickaxe, Dragon 2-8 Sword, and Elite Clue Scrolls. And it also has very, very good regular drops, such as 100 noted Snapdragons, 60 Onyx Bolt Tips, so on and so forth. Alright, so now let's get into your gear setup and inventory. Starting off with your gear setup, as I mentioned earlier, you do need full Veridax for the solo method, so... Basically, the main idea about your gear setup is to wear full Veridax and try and build a somewhat welfare, high melee defense build around it. So I wear an Amulet of Glory, Climbing Boots, Rune Gloves, a Skill Cape, and a Ring of Dueling. A good substitute for a Skill Cape, if you don't want to risk it, is a Legends Cape. However, if you don't mind risking a few skill capes, it is pretty nice. There is extra prayer bonus and defense on it. Um, if you don't want to risk a glory, you could swap it out with an amulet of strength. But if you are swapping out your glory, you are going to need a ring of slaying because glories and rings of slaying can teleport you out of the wilderness at level 30. Whereas everything else, you have to go down to level 20. And because Venonatus is located in level 30 wilderness, it's actually very important that you have either a glory or a ring of slaying. That way you can instantly teleport out even at level 30 wilderness in case a PK comes. Um, again, if you don't mind risking it, you could bring Barrow's gloves, but it is somewhat unnecessary risk. They're not that much better, so... Overall, your gear should be full Varax with a fairly cheap yet effective build set up around it. Moving in for your inventory, you need one superset, three prayer potions, an anti-poison. You could either bring an antidote plus plus, a super anti-poison, a regular anti-poison, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I bring super anti-poisons and I usually use two doses per trip and I usually get two kills per trip. So if you bring a regular anti-poison, you might actually need more than one. So I would recommend having at least a super anti-poison. And then Vengeance Runes, I bring 20 casts worth, I believe this is. Um, you won't run out of Vengeances, so just bring plenty of runes, and then the rest is Sharks. Now, let's get into why we need 96 magic for Spellbook Swaps. I'm going to go into my bank really quickly and withdraw some items, and I'm going to show you why you need 96 magic. So, I currently am actually only 95 magic, meaning that I cannot use Spellbook Swap. However, the easy way to get around this, of course, is to use a Magic Potion. So, don't use a magic potion if you are not on a, if you, excuse me, if you are not 96 plus magic. But, if you are less than 96, drink a dose of magic potion, withdraw the runes for spellbook swap, which are three astrals, two cosmics, and one law rune. Cast spellbook swap and switch to the ancient spellbook. We're going to want to be teleporting to the level 84 teleport, the Carolangar teleport, or however you pronounce it. You need two soul runes and two law runes, so withdraw those. Fill the rest of your inventory back up with sharks. And before you leave, I do like to drink a dose of stamina potion, because you have to run a little bit, so... If you guys want to drink a, dam a, dose of a dose of stamina potion, feel free to do that. Bank that. And uh, then you're ready to go. Just click on the Carlangar teleport, and it will teleport you to... I believe this is the Graveyard of Souls? No, Shadow. Shadow Graveyard. I was close. Alright, once you are here, just start running towards the west. If you are using OS Buddy and you have a map to look at, you can open up your map, and as you can see, the Nanatis is located right up here. So it is a bit of a run. Um, this is easily the fastest way to get there, though. It would be a little bit faster if you could um, confirm that you would get that ancient teleport pad right there, but you can't, so it's much faster to just use that teleport every time. So just make your way over here. Once you get somewhat close, cast Vengeance, that way, because Vengeance does have a 30 second timer, you're going to want to cast Vengeance beforehand, that way by the time you get to him, you're ready to cast Vengeance again. I'm getting fairly close now, once you get around this area, you'll start seeing some webs. This means you're close, so I'm going to wait here for just a second to let my Vengeance um, restore. 
So really quickly as well, let me talk about um, some basic mechanics you need to know about Venonatus. You pray magic at Venonatus. Um, so let's set our quick prayers right now, I guess. I'm going to do protect item, protect from magic, and piety. Now basically, the main idea about killing Venonatus is that you need to have Venonatus in the multi-combat zone. Otherwise, you won't be able to do much damage. Also... You have to lure Venonatus away from the center of her web, where the uh, the spider webs on the ground are very, very thick. Otherwise, you won't be able to attack him. Venonatus has some weird mechanics, but if you follow my guide and what I'm about to show you, it's very, very easy. So, once you get to this area and your vengeance is reloaded, drink your super set, turn on your quick prayers as I showed you how to set them, and run over here. Now, what I'm going to show you to look very carefully for on the ground is these two pillars. As you can see, there's not really much shading on the ground. It's kind of very distinct, different colors. Um, so, oh, also turn your auto retaliate off. Bring them to this pillar right here. This pillar of ground right here starts to turn a bit brown. Stand on this one right here, roughly, and you'll be perfectly good to go. All right, so... Once the kill gets started, as you can see there, my prayer got drained very, very quickly there. Now, what you want to do is let your prayer get down fairly low before you restore it. Venonatus drains your prayer based on a percentage. So the lower percentage of prayer points you have... <laughs> I would get a drunken dwarf. Uh, the lower percentage of prayer points you have, the less he drains. So you're going to want to make sure that you have fairly low prayer at all times. That way you're not getting drained nearly as much. Uh, do be careful though, that you don't get smited. I almost just ran out of prayer right there, but... Apart from that, it's actually a very, very civil boss of solo. All you have to do is keep your quick prayers on, cast a vengeance whenever you have one, and kill the boss. I can pretty consistently get two kills per trip doing this method, um, so it's pretty easy. You do have a fairly low rate of death, however, um, I actually kind of hope this happens to me. I hope I get one ticked. Um, Venonatus has a percentage chance, uh, it's not, it doesn't happen very often, which is why I'm saying you have a pretty low chance of death here. But it can potentially happen here where Venonatus will stack its hits, um, and it can stack 99 HP. It will, it can hit like a 50-50, I don't know what his max is, it's around 50, but it can very, very easily stack 99 HP worth of hits in one tick. So you are going to want to make sure that your health stays fairly high. Um, once in a while, once in a while it just happens, and because it's a one tick, you will literally have no time to react. And, I mean, you, you can't even respond. It literally sometimes just happens, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, the kill is almost over. I have This is actually a pretty good kill. I haven't used very many supplies at all. As you can see, it is a very, very easy boss to solo. All you have to do is attack it to make sure your vengeance is cast. And try and keep your health very, very high. Um, and that's about it, really. Got a rune 2-8 sword. Uh, I believe the average kill worth is around 75k. And then if you throw in a rare drop, you make a lot of money. So... The spawn right here is not too long. I'm just going to wait just a second here for the boss to respawn. I'll kill the second one, and then I'll show you guys what to do once you're out of food and you are ready to bank. Alright, well, I just got my second kill, and that is 100 super combos, which is actually a pretty good drop. Uh, we still have six sharks left, so that was actually, honestly, a, a really good trip. So, once you are definitely out of food and you know you won't get another kill, you can teleport to Edgeville on your glory, or any of the options, really, for that matter. And then afterwards, teleport to Clan Wars on your dueling ring. I didn't mention earlier, but this is why we are wearing a ring of dueling. Um, basically, in order to restore your prayer and hit points, all you have to do is come to hit, uh, come to Clan Wars, enter the free-for-all portal just west of the teleport, and then leave again, and all your hit points and prayer points will be restored. So this is a really helpful tip, I guess, not even just for, you know, Venon and in specific. This is just a helpful tip in general so that you guys can use um, so that you don't have to waste sharks and pro potions at the bank. And then uh, once you get back to the bank, you can just restock on all your supplies and teleport back and start another trip. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this guide. I hope you all found it helpful. If you did, feel free to leave a like. It really does help. If you guys have any questions on the guide, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you all later.